Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am the Maze Mad Man. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, share this with your friends and family on social media, and as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Today we are talking Michigan recruiting, a couple flip targets, plus visitors from Michigan's game against Minnesota, and an injury report, all that. And of I'm upset. No disrespect, respectfully. But disrespectfully, it's disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Those vile, disgusting Spartans. Poor little girl, man. And I'ma tell them why I'm mad. That vile, disgusting cesspool in Columbus. The other state. And of course, as always, I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. First things first, I'm going to tell him why I'm mad. I take that back. I'm really pissed off. I'm mad because Michigan has the fifth best odds. Let me repeat that. Fifth best odds to capture the Big Ten according to FanDuel. Those odds behind the leader, the other state, Oregon, Penn State, and USC, who Michigan has already beaten this season. Now I know. They could be looking at USC's schedule, looking at Michigan's schedule, saying USC has a better chance to, you know, finish ahead of Michigan. But still, Michigan just beat them on the gridiron. Give them the credit they deserve for that. Michigan should, at the very least, have the fourth best odds to win the Big Ten. I digress. We move on. Let's start with the big fish. Andrew Babalola, five-star offensive tackle out of Overland Park. Kansas Blue Valley Northwest High School. Babalola is the biggest figuratively and literally prospect left on Michigan's 2025 recruiting board. Five star talent, as I already said, 6'6, 300 pounder. He has pushed back his decision date several times now, but the rumor is that he is looking to make a decision sometime this month. In fact, he's given a deadline of the 26th, so a decision will be made on or before October 26th. This according to Andrew Babalola. The usual suspects are there, Stanford, Michigan, Auburn. There is also Oklahoma and Missouri. The thing is this. According to E.J. Holland of On3, Stanford has taken a step back even though they lead on On3's recruiting prediction machine. Michigan is still right there in the thick of it. Also hearing that NIL could be a bigger part of his recruitment than it was thought to be early on. And Auburn is right in it in terms of the NIL and what they're willing to do with NIL. That leaves Auburn in a advantageous position, but Michigan and Michigan's combination of academics and football also puts them in an advent advantageous position. It's thought that it was a three horse race between Stanford, Michigan and Auburn with Stanford maybe taking a step back now, joining the likes of Missouri and Oklahoma on the outside looking in. Hopefully, the Wolverines can pull this one off. Grant Newsom, Michigan's offensive line coach, and Sharon Moore, who was the offensive line coach when Michigan won back-to-back -back Joe Moore Awards, need to get together and close this deal. Michigan has zero five-star recruits in their current recruiting class. Adding Andrew Babalola would be a huge feather in the cap. Number one, you would have fended off the late charge by Auburn, you would have beaten out a power four stalwart like Oklahoma. It's a huge, huge recruitment for Michigan. Plus, the depth along the offensive line this season is really caught up to Michigan. Having someone like Babalola to pair with someone uh, with some of the talent that they have in the in the 2025 class along the offensive line would be a massive, massive win for Michigan hopefully like I said this one does 
Go Michigan's way. I'll keep you posted as more information becomes available. Moving on to some flip targets. You know what time it is. It's cuffing season. Been naughty all year, trying to end it nicely. Summer holes turning into winter wifey. It's, it's also flip season, and Michigan is right in the thick of it. We're trying to flip some very talented, high-level recruits, including Oregon cornerback commit Brandon Finney. Finney is out of Owens Mills, Maryland, right here in the DMV area, McDonald High School. He would be a massive get for Michigan. Four-star recruit. He has excellent size at 6 feet 2, 185 pounds. The kind of guy that Michigan covets and is absolutely interested in. He first visited or he visited Michigan for their game against Texas. Of course, Michigan didn't win that game, but apparently they knocked the visit out of the park for him uh, in other ways outside of on the field. He said, quote, the product on the field, that is. He said, quote, my commitment to Oregon was mainly based off the coaching staff and development that I know they have there. I'm taking visits to other schools, but I'm still with Oregon. He went on to say, I love it there. Speaking of Michigan, I love the coaching staff. The whole visit was great, even though the result wasn't what they wanted. It was still a great experience. I got to see the culture and what they had to offer. The flight wasn't that long at all. It was like 45 minutes, and that's always a good thing. The area was great. The big house was great. This is a positive review for Michigan, especially when you consider the flight time from his, you know, home base in Owings Mill to Detroit airport, you know, where Ann Arbor is. That means he can fly home relatively quickly. His family can come to see games and to visit him relatively quickly without hassle traveling across the country like they would if he keeps that commitment to Oregon. This is a, a thing that Michigan can probably try to recruit him on a little harder, but we'll see how it goes. He he also went on to say he's a Ravens fan, so he's familiar with defensive coordinator Wink Martindale. He said, I liked what he was able to do with guys like Marlon Humphrey. I like their defense a lot. I watch Will Johnson highlights a lot because I try to replicate what he does, his ability in coverage and playing the run. So, Michigan sounds like they're in really good standing with Mr. Finney. We'll see what happens there. He's slated to come back for an official visit in November. So that is also a great sign for Michigan. He will be taking visits to Penn State and back to Oregon for their game against the other state. Keep it locked to the Maze Madman channel for more updates. Moving to the offensive side, Michigan is making a serious push for three-star North Carolina State wide receiver commit Jamar Browder. Browder is a 6'4", 205-pounder, really big, hefty receiver. Also has put up some really impressive numbers in his senior year this year and spoke very highly of Michigan after his recent visit for the Minnesota game, going on to say that he spoke with Michigan commit Brady Hart, who was also from the state of Florida, who was also at the Minnesota game and basically tried to sell Browder on the fact of those two playing together. We'll see what happens with that as more information becomes available. But right now, it sounds like Browder is seriously considering the Wolverines. He said, quote, this visit went smooth. The main highlights were the hospitality and personality of the coaches. All of them, to be honest, even the recruiters and analysts talked to me. They were just letting me know I'll be an impact player first day in. He also said, spoke with Brady Hart, who's telling them that he should come and they can be great. He plans to make another visit for Michigan's game against the Oregon Ducks on the 2nd. We'll keep you posted as more information becomes available. Finally, we'll talk about the injury, some injury updates. Head coach Sharon Moore said that Josiah Stewart and Will Johnson and Samaj Morgan, all of whom 
miss Michigan's game against Minnesota are likely to be playing this Saturday against Washington. He also went on to say that Miles Hinton is working through some things. He is, quote, questionable. Colston Loveland looks to be healthy enough to go again. So two games in a row with Colston Loveland is a great thing. Guys that are out include Dominic Jadis and Jaden McBarrows, as well as Michigan State transfer safety Jaden Mangum. Be sure to join the rest of the Triple M community in the Madman's Big House Discord. I'll drop a link in the description. We will be doing a lot of things over there, including giveaways and planning for to meet up for games and things like that. So join the Discord for more information on those sorts of things. Also, follow me everywhere at Maze Madman. Until next time, stay angry, my friends. I'm upset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be our best season ever. All right, all right, now, now I'm going to calm down, so I'm going to calm down. So I, don't, I, don't, I just don't get that, all that Mace okay. and that lock shit and all, right. all that puff. I just don't get it, son, okay, for just, real. Just calm and how the f*** you